this is the case, and it is the case, then that entails that we understand the concept of slavery, which is proportional to the understanding of our Islam. The more someone understands Islam, the more someone will enslave himself, is, is enslave himself or herself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as a slave, each one of us, or as slaves, we have no right, no right to worship Allah in a manner which He did not prescribe. We don't have such authority. We do not have the authority to say, I will worship Allah in this particular fashion. As a slave, no such right. Now, if one of us was a master, and he created his own world, his own universe, his own everything, and then in that creation of his, he wanted to run business the way he likes, we say, go ahead. If anyone, and no one can do that, by the way, because Allah already told us, no one can create but him. If one can wants to create his own creation, then tell them, worship me however you like, then that's their business. But that doesn't happen. In the deen of Allah, there's no such thing. Allah asked in this rhetorical fashion, or do they have partners which legislate for them in the religion that which Allah did not permit? Is this possible that they bring their own partners who will legislate into the deen? No. No, it's unacceptable. So the deen and part of our slavery to Allah is that we submit and we follow the Quran and the Sunnah strictly. We have no right no authority to propose anything into the religion. If we do, then we need to study Islam from scratch. We need to learn Islam all over again. Because many Muslims need to study Islam from the beginning. Further